A few years ago, the oceans in Minecraft were big empty places. I was very surprised when I come back to this game after a few years break. The water world has changed a lot. It has become colorful and full of life. The coral reef is a special place, so I thought it was worth building one. This will be my second Minecraft project. The first is the Lava Cave, so if you haven't seen it yet, I encourage you to check it out. Both projects will be interconnected, as you will see at the end of this episode. The idea to build something with Minecraft came up some time ago and I had two ideas right away. Today I'm going to build second one, the Coral Reef. Building this biome required me to order a lot of new parts. I've never needed yellow or pink before. Look what I ordered. Tiles and jumpers. Blue plates. Yellow plates. Red plates. Dark pink plates. 10 parts for terrain. And finally, the plants. We can see the reef in warm oceans. It's distinguished by colorful structures, lots of fish and plants. I haven't seen any other reef designs yet, so I had to work out a few things. There are several types of color blocks in the game. I chose a few of them to build my project. The first block is dead coral. In this case, I chose the main color dark tan and light bluish grey for the details. Yellow is next. The additional color is bright light orange. I had the most problems with pink coral. I checked several options and dark pink with magenta looks the best. It's time for red and dark red as an addition. And the last block is blue. Here I added dark blue as a detail. It's time to prepare the project. I turn on Minecraft, build a while and here is the effect. I built a fragment of the ocean floor. On the right side you can see the beginning of the shore. This is where the color reef will be connected to the lava cave mock. There will be a layer of the water on the top. I used ice block here in the game. At the bottom we have a lot of corals, in 5 colors. The in-game design helped me to build the same thing in Studio App and carefully plan my purchase of missing parts. The project is ready. I know what to do, so we start construction. First, the base plate. As before, it will be 10 by 20 Minecraft blocks. It's mean 20 by 40 stats. Building this area will be easier. I only built the bottom and right side elevation to match the previous design. The other elements of this design are corals, plants and other details. I just added first details like coal and sandstone. It's time to add some tiles. I've built another layer and slowly have to focus on the details. I can't build the corals yet. Before I do, I need to add some details. The first thing that cannot be missed on the reef is sea pickles. I will build them the same as in the official logo sets. I think they are good enough. The second thing is plants. I'll add a few to start with. It's time to finish the wall area. There will be many layers here. I will add plants in a few places.
After a few layers, the terrain is ready, and I already have a water level. On the right side I added some water blocks. Let's see how the terrain matches up with my previous mock. Looks great, now I can move on to the next step. Time for the most interesting stage of construction. The corals. See how many there are. It took me several hours to build them. There are a lot of small elements here. They look a bit like Tetris blocks, right? Let's put the corals on the ground. It looks great. I already like it a lot. It will be even better when the plants and details arrive. Ok, it's time for one of the more difficult stages, the water construction. I need a lot of transplates and tiles, but I'm ready. See how much I have. When I build water, I will want to base it on such plants that I will place on the reef, so that the water can be placed on them. The water is ready, it's stronger than I thought. I'm very happy because I will be able to carry out my plan. Before I put this piece of water, I need to add the last details. It's time for the inhabitants of the reef. Everything in its place. So I'll add the water. And finally the mock is ready. And how do you like this mock? Now it's time to connect both projects together. Everything looks great. I like it a lot. Write in the comment what do you think about this mock. That's it, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!